So I've recently been enjoying watching the Premier League. For those of you who don't know, that's the English Football League. That is the football rather than American hand egg, just so you're aware. In the UK, football is quite a big deal. Thousands and thousands of hours of football, each more climactic than the last. Constant, dizzying, 24 hour, year long, endless football. Every kick of it massively mattering to someone, presumably. In light of this, I thought it might be interesting to look at the colorful names and nicknames of the Premier League clubs and how they got them. Going alphabetically, let's start with Arsenal. Arsenal is a club from the capital, London. They are traditionally viewed as being a North London club and their stadium, the Emirates Stadium, is found in Islington. However, originally they were from south of the Thames from an area called Woolwich where they were founded in 1886 by workers from the local munitions factory. This area had long been home to garrisons and indeed to munitions factories and as such cannons of various forms have always featured on the crests of the Arsenal Football Club. It also explains why Arsenal's nickname has down the years been the Gunners because of this martial connection. Aston Villa Football Club, to use its official name, is from Birmingham. It was founded in 1874 by members of the local church, the Villa Cross Wesleyan Chapel, this church being situated in the Aston neighborhood of Birmingham. Now, originally it was founded by members of a local cricket club. Did I hear someone say cricket? That's a word I've not heard in a long time. The cricket club of the church wanted a sport that they could play during the winter when the ground was too hard to be playing cricket and so they set up a football team. I only used to coach the Manchester United team. Now Aston Villa's nickname is often just the Villa and sometimes the Villains, although erroneously sometimes it's spelt like the English word Villains, despite the fact that it comes from the word Villa itself. Brentford Football Club is another London-based club, although this time it's based in the West End of London in the area called Brentford. It was set up in 1889. Now Brentford's nickname down the years have been the Bees. Now this nickname has a few possible origins. One is that a schoolboy chant in the local area was Buck Up Bees, that the B would stand for Brentford or for more likely the Borough. However, this is then interpreted by other fans as saying buck up bees, as in the animal. And so the nickname stuck. Another story says that it comes back to a newspaper headline from a Brentford victory against a rival, which said busy bees beat bewildered opponents by brisk and brilliant bombardments, and that since then the nickname has been the bees. Combined with their stripy shirts, it does make sense. Brighton and Hove Albion is a football team from Brighton on the south coast of England. They were founded in 1901. Now, Brighton, the name of the place, and Albion is most likely referring to the ancient name for Britain, possibly because they're situated close to the White Cliffs of Dover. Now, Brighton's nickname for quite a while has been the Seagulls, although originally a different animal was found on their crest, the Dolphin, and therefore they were known as the Dolphins. The change in nickname came in 1975 when Brighton fans in a local match against their rivals Crystal Palace heard that the Palace fans were shouting Eagles Eagles as that is the name for the Crystal Palace mascot. So to taunt them the Brighton fans started to chant Seagulls Seagulls. Mine. And ever since, this has caught on and they indeed changed the logo to feature the seagull. Burnley Football Club is a club from the town of Burnley in Lancashire in the northwest of England. It was set up in 1882. Actually, it was originally a rugby club, but when other teams in the local area switched to playing football, they followed suit and became a football team instead. Now, Burnley in 1910, in honour of Aston Villa, who had recently been the champions in the English league, decided to change their kit. And this gave rise to Burnley's nickname, the Clarets, because their kit featured largely the claret colour as well as blue, as is still seen on Aston Villa's kit today. Chelsea is another of the clubs from London and as you can guess their stadium sort of borders the area that is called Chelsea although technically they're from the Fulham area of London next door. 
Now, they were formed in 1905. Chelsea are today known as the Blues, although for most of their history, they had a different nickname, which was the Pensioners. This being in reference to the military hospital that looked after wounded veterans in the area, these veterans becoming known as the Chelsea Pensioners. However, management wanted to move away from this image of old age and instead have adopted the Blues name in reference to their home colours. Crystal Palace is also found in London, but they are based in the borough of Croydon in South London. They were established in 1905, and they were actually named after the glass building that housed the Great Exhibition of the Victorian period earlier in the 19th century. However, this was later moved from its original position in the centre of London further to the south in Croydon. And for this re reason, the area that was known as Penge had its name changed to Crystal Palace, thus also giving its name to the football team that would arise there. As such, because of this glass house connection, despite the fact that it burned down in the 1930s, Crystal Palace were known as the Glaziers. However, management thought this sounded quite fragile, and so instead they changed the name to the Eagles, which we've already seen the Brighton fans making fun of in their derby match. Everton Football Club hailed from the English city of Liverpool. They were established in 1878 in the area of the city called Everton. Now, Everton's nickname down the years has been the Toffees, and it's claimed by two rival sweet shops in Liverpool that it's because fans would often go and buy Toffees at these sweet shops before they went to see the games. It's unclear which of these is true, or perhaps both are true. Everton also features the Everton Lockup, an 18th century cell used for drunks and criminals on its logo. Leeds United comes from Leeds, a city in Yorkshire in the north of England. It was established in 1919, and the nickname that goes to the Leeds players is most often simply the Whites. This owes in part because of the colour of their shirt, but also because of the White Rose, a symbol of Yorkshire that is featured on their crest. White Rose! White Rose! Wh Leicester Football Club comes from the city of Leicester in the Midlands. It was established in 1884, and the nickname of Leicester ever since has been the Foxes. This owes in part to the fact that modern fox hunting is said to have been developed in Leicestershire, hence the association with the football club from the city. Liverpool Football Club is understandably from the English city of Liverpool. It was founded in 1892 following a split with the already existing Everton Football Club, which is also from Liverpool itself. Liverpool Football Club soon became a firm rival of Everton in the city. Its crest features the famous Liverbird that is seen throughout Liverpool city in terms of heraldry and even on buildings like the famous Liver Building. The Liverbird is a kind of cross between the seabird, the cormorant, and between an eagle. It's mythical, but it's important in Liverpool itself. Now, Liverpool's nickname is usually just the Reds. Again, a little bit uninspiring, but they're a good team so they can get away with it. Staying in the north of England, Manchester City comes from the nearby city of Manchester. They were established in 1880, although they would only take on the name Manchester City in 1894. The Manchester team are known most of the time actually as Man City, simply a shortened version of the name. Although officially they should be known as the Citizens. This is their nickname that they put out to the world. Although in my experience, I've hardly ever heard them call this. If you're a Man City fan and you are a proud citizen, then I apologize, but I don't think it's a very popular nickname for the club. The crest also features the red rose of Lancashire, the county in which Manchester is a part, and of course the ship symbol of the city of Manchester itself. Manchester United is also also from Manchester. Now, its first initiation was in 1878, although it wouldn't be until 1902 that several clubs came together to form Manchester United as we know it. They actually trialed several different names before they did this. They went from being called Newtown Heath to 
voting for Manchester Central and perhaps even Manchester Celtic, which could have been very interesting to have two famous teams called Celtic or Celtic. But in the end, they decided to go with the now famous Manchester United. Now, most of the time, Manchester United are shortly referred to as Man U, Man U versus Man City. Although they do also have a very famous nickname, which is the Red Devils. Now, the idea behind this nickname actually came from the rugby team of Manchester United rather than the football team, but it seems to have stuck to both. The story goes that in 1934, the rugby team were playing an away game in France and that after a particularly strong performance, a local French newspaper headline reporting on their experience wrote Les Diables Rouges, which means the Red Devils. And ever since, this nickname in 1970 has even appeared on Manchester United's crest as the Red Devils, as well as the ship, which is a famous symbol of Manchester itself and is also now seen on the new logo of Manchester City. Newcastle United, or my own club, is from the city of Newcastle upon Tyne in the northeast of England. It was created in 1892 when the two Newcastle clubs, Newcastle East End and Newcastle West End came together. West End were winning most of the matches, but the East End had the stadium of St. James's Park. So they came together and formed Newcastle United. Now Newcastle United are known by several different nicknames. Perhaps the most famous one is Toon or most commonly in the city itself, Toon Army. This nickname comes from the Geordie pronunciation of the word town being Toon. There's also another nickname which is the Magpies. This refers to the colours of the striped white and black on the Newcastle United shirt. Norwich City Football Club comes from the East Anglian city of Norwich. It was founded in 1902 and the nickname for the longest time for Norwich City has been the Canaries. This goes back to the fact that Canaries were being bred in and around Norwich for a long time, as well as the fact that the club plays in bright yellow and green, so Canaries seems like a fitting name for the club. Southampton Football Club hail from the town of Southampton on the southern English coast. They were established in 1885 as the rather long name St Mary's Church of England Young Men's Association. The team would, thankfully for commentators, shorten its name simply to Southampton Football Club in the years to come, but the religious association of the club's founding wouldn't be lost, and so the nickname of the team became the Saints. Tottenham Hotspur. This is another club from London, another North London club from the area of Tottenham, which gives the club its name. They were founded in 1882, and of course Tottenham being the region they are from makes sense that this is part of the name. The team are largely referred to as Spurs, this coming from the second part of their name, Hotspur, which in turn comes from the nickname Harry Hotspur that was given to a 14th century Northumbrian nobleman called Sir Henry Percy. Hotspur being the name given to him for his aggressive riding style and his daring, so much so that his spurs were said to be hot. He's a famous hero from the period who would eventually fight against both the Scots and against the King, and held area of London as his own, hence the association with Tottenham, as in Tottenham there were various sports clubs that were named after Sir Henry Percy. The nickname the Lily Whites, however, seems to have been stolen from another team, North Preston Football Club, when they were doing particularly well, as was the colour of white, which Tottenham still plays in to this day. Watford come from the town of Watford to the north of London in the English county of Hertfordshire. The football club was established in 1881, and the nickname most commonly given to Watford are the Hornets. This being down to the fact of their football kit, which was changed in 1959. However, in 1978, they removed the Hornet as the crest of the club and changed it instead with a red deer, as this is the symbol of Hertfordshire. However, the Hornet's nickname remained the most popular. 
similarly to that of Brentford and the Bees. A recent headline that I quite liked is the Bees sting back against the Hornets. Um, and partially this is because of the fact that they play traditionally in black and in yellow, so like the striped insects that used to be on their crest. West Ham United also come from London, and despite the name, they actually play in an area called Newham, uh, which is in the east of London. Now, they were created in 1985 from workers from a local ironworks, but in 1900, they quickly disbanded but soon reformed, changing their name from Thomas Ironworks, the manager of which had set up the club and instead changed it to the name West Ham because this was the cup that they were playing in in the West Ham of London, which is in the eastern side of the, of the city. Now, because of their name, the nickname that was obvious was the Hammers. It also, of course, called into mind the fact that the original players and fans were dock workers and iron workers from the industrial mills in that part of the city. A uh, less common nickname for them is also the Irons, this of course going back to their original name for the Thomas Ironworks, but the Hammers seems to be the most popular, also given the fact that the Hammer features on their logo and they are called West Ham, it seems to work quite well. The last team are Wolverhampton Wanderers. They come from Wolverhampton, a town in the Midlands, and were established in 1877, which I believe makes them the oldest club currently playing in the Premier League. However, it wasn't until 1891 that they would adopt their classic striped orange and black jerseys, which they have worn to some variation ever since. Now, the nickname for Wolverhampton was really fairly obvious, just as that for West Ham, and they are known as the Wolves. This is also, of course, featured on their crest, and it makes sense that this is their nickname to this day. All right, so that's all 17 clubs that are currently playing in the Premier League. I hope you've enjoyed this video that goes through some of the names and the nicknames, as well as the origins behind these clubs. Let me know if you want to see anything more like this. It's pretty different to the kind of thing that I normally talk about, but I thought after all the videos on Ukraine, it might be nice to have just some completely different stuff on the channel. If you are interested, then let me know. I suppose I could do something similar for clubs in the Eredivisie, so the Dutch Football League or even the Bundesliga or the um, whatever the Scottish play in. I could do that as well. Let me know if you enjoyed it and uh, look after yourselves. Have a great day.